Here is how you customize the home screen on iPhone. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So from our home screen, if we long press on the empty space and release when our icons are jiggled, then we will have the edit home screen option. So when we tap on this one, we can tap the add widget, which is the widget feature, which has been around for a couple of years. But we now have the customize. And when we tap on customize, if we tap this icon here, we can change the tint of our home screen wallpaper. We have our small icons and you can tap this to make the icons large and it even hides the app text. You have light mode, dark mode for the icons, automatic, which uses your system theme and then tinted to use a custom color for your app icons. But do note it does make the background of those icons black. Uh, so it's not really that ideal. Now, if we head out of this screen and then we will long press the empty space of our home screen again. If we tap these dots here, this will bring us to the home screen editor. Uh, so you have the option to remove pages from your home screen by tapping on the minus. So you can just remove the page there or you can tap the tick to turn on your pages or turn them off. So if you wanted to hide a bunch of apps at once, you could use that option. With iOS 18, you can also move apps anywhere you want on the home screen. So we'll long press on our empty space and release when we see the jiggle. So with the old iOS, when you'd move an app, it would you know, magnetically pull it right next to another app. But with iOS 18, you can put apps wherever you want on the home screen. They're not tied to be in order. So you can see I can just put the app anywhere. This also applies for widgets as well. So you can just put them anywhere you want. So we'll go boom, boom. And so that's it.